Have you always wanted to travel to the United Kingdom? Here are a few tips you need to know. 1. Know the difference between England, Great Britain, and the UK first off. You might have noticed that this post is titled England Travel Tips rather than UK Tips or Great Britain Tips. And there is a good reason for that. These names are oftentimes used interchangeably, but there actually is a difference. And because I'm an annoying nerd, I'm going to tell you all about it. Put simply, the UK, United Kingdom, is an umbrella term that includes England, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland. In contrast, Great Britain refers to just the island, i.e., the piece of land that includes England, Scotland, and Wales, essentially the UK minus Northern Ireland. And then, of course, England refers to one of the constituent parts of Great Britain, the part that houses all those famous English places you've no doubt heard of, from south coast towns like Bournemouth, Brighton, and Poole to northern hotspots like Liverpool and Durham Cathedral, as seen in Harry Potter. Why am I rambling about this? Well, culturally, there's many differences between the different parts of the UK, so just be mindful of that and don't do silly things like ask English people if they wear kilts. 2. Beware the variation in accents. For my fellow period drama bingers, I have some bad news. The so-called British accent that we've collectively swooned over for years? Yeah, that doesn't really exist. Or, more accurately, there's hundreds of British accents out there, only a small percentage of which sound like the generic sort of posh accent we've come to label as the British accent. In reality, people across England have wildly different accents and dialects. You can watch this video for an example of 20 different ones. So, just be prepared for the fact that you may have difficulty understanding and keeping up depending on where you are. And try to avoid complimenting people on their British accent. Because that term in itself doesn't really mean anything. 3. Understand there's way more to England than just London. London is one of the most visited cities in the world, and in fairness, I do think it's an absolutely incredible place to go whether you only have three days there or more. I've already written about all my favorite places in England besides London, but just a few of my favorite favorites include the South Coast with its soft sandy beaches and dramatic coastline, the gorgeous villages of the Cotswolds, the hilly hikes of the Peak District, the drool-worthy scenery of the Lake District 4, learn where to find budget-friendly stays. Now in terms of booking places to stay, there are of course a ton of options with a wild range from backpacker hostels and cozy inns to the most opulent of castles and manor houses. Trust me when I say in England, there's something for every budget. But if you're reading this article right now, I'm assuming you're not a Swiss billionaire with limitless castle money, so I'm going to focus more on budget-friendly accommodation tips for England. Five, before you leave, make sure you have a good credit card. Remember that old adage, cash is king? Sadly, in England, that throne has been usurped by contactless card payments. Over the past few years, I've found that there are increasingly places that do not accept cash. So if you don't have a good credit card with minimal fees, get one. I highly recommend WISE for that purpose. They offer a free card that allows you to send and spend money around the world at the real exchange rate, avoiding hidden fees in the process, plus two free ATM withdrawals per month overseas. Six. Prepare for some common vocabulary differences. It's no secret that North American English and UK English can differ a lot, not just in terms of accents, but also in the words we use. So here are some basic must-knows that you might encounter. The loo or the toilet, our washroom or bathroom lift, ba or elevator boot of a car, ba or trunk queue, habo, lineup pavement, ba or sidewalk petrol, abwar gas football, ba or soccer quid, Bob pound unit of currency, e.g. five quid, a wa war five pounds.